You ever get those chills that just like run through your body? Make you feel. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl V. Back at you with another video. I was tagged by Naomi, um, aka Live Love Glam here on YouTube to do my perfect imperfections tag and I decided <laughs> why not? Basically, the tag is where you would list three likes and three dislikes about yourself. Let's just, let's get into it. So I'm starting off with the dislikes. Um, and I've kind of like narrowed down my dislikes. Because obviously, I, everyone has more than three dislikes they dislike about themselves. At first, I was like... I don't know what I dislike about myself and then I had to ask my friend and she told me because these are the things that I complain about to her on a daily and not all of them are actually physical imperfections I also have one that um, are more like how I am as a person I guess so I'm starting off with the physical imperfections first and that is my teeth a lot of people can look at my teeth and don't get me wrong I think I have a really nice smile but but on the inside, all up in there where you can't see, it's all like messed up. And mind you, because I've had braces for a year, that tremendously helped my teeth. I was literally crooked. They called me ratty because of my teeth. <laughs> Believe it or not. And my front teeth was literally a V. Like I kid you not, my teeth was literally a V. There was a lot of spaces and some twisted tooth down the bottoms. Like it was... Yeah, I was also teased and called donkey teeth at some point in my life. Kids are cruel, okay? Kids are very cruel. I have a wicked, ridiculous overbite. Uh, can barely see my bottom teeth. And it's so bad that it starts like grinding on my bottom teeth and rubbing them down lower. So that's also one of the reasons why I want to get Invisalign and fix that. Ish. Another thing is that on the side of my mouth, well, why am I going to do this? Guys, I do plan on doing Invisalign to actually get my teeth where I want it to be. So if, if, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you're interested in doing or seeing my Invisalign updates, I'll do it over there and then you can learn more about my teeth on those kind of videos. So let's just not get all up into it. Okay. Moving on. So as I said, this is not a physical imperfection, but as a person, I overanalyze every single thing in my life. Every single thing that happens to me, every single things that are said to me, every things that are said about other things. Because I overanalyze, I'm a worry wart. So like I worry about the simplest things that I don't even have to worry about. Like I'm too young for this. Um I think the re reason why I'm so miserable sometimes is because I overanalyze stuff a lot. And it's not even to the point where I overanalyze and say like, oh well, it's gonna be perfect, all rainbow sunshines and unicorns. No. And be like, death, death, death. <laughs> I don't think I'm a pessimist. I'm actually really an optimist, but I don't know when it comes to like analyzing things. I analyze it to the point where I want to prepare myself for the worst things to happen so that it doesn't hurt me as much as it could if it was something unknown or something I didn't expect. I think I developed that because growing up I had like a lot of childhood disappointments. Disappointments where my mom would promise me that we're gonna go somewhere and we just don't end up going. I think that's where I developed um, that type of habit and I don't I don't like it honestly I hate it because it makes me worry so much and then a lot of times at the end of the day after I passed that bridge it was like what why Alvina why 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 were you even like worrying about something like this simplistic like why <laughs> forcing myself to worry and stress for no reason this is the other thing that I really, really, really dislike about myself. Anytime when I'm talking about something that it's probably like... It doesn't even have to be emotional. If I'm talking to an authority figure or somebody that I really look up to about a sensitive topic, I really sound like I want to cry. And it's... Excuse me. I really sound like I want to cry. And it's not like I'm actually going to cry. It's just that I sound like I'm going to cry. Like even though I'm, my, my voice start croaking... Like, <laughs> why why do I do this I don't understand I don't know if it's the way I'm raised 
because if you raise your voice or you kind of start to talk a certain way kind of like you come out of line with certain things yeah so i don't know if that's why <laughs> but so i don't know that's one thing i really 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 don't like is that i sound like always crying when we're talking about certain things on to a good note three things that i like or when I say love about myself, one is my eyes. I think I just can't talk. I think they are very unique. I kind of have like cat eyes. It kind of goes up like this. I honestly don't know which one of my parents I got it from. I would like to say my mom because my brother's eyes are are the same and we only share the same mother. So I would like to say it's my mom, but I don't see it in her eyes. I don't know if it's old age. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> a very good daughter um, a lot of people say that my eyes are big I don't I don't think they are big I just think they're really like bright I don't know I really do like it I think it's one of my most attractive features I'm a buddy so yeah I like I love my eyes another thing that I really love or grown to love about myself is my beauty spots they are so like well placed I think they bring out my facial features a little bit more it just adds that little mm, the, you know that that accent that you know yeah and you can only really see one but I have like two huge ones on my face I used to get teased a lot growing up so at first I was like I don't really like it like people always tease me ever since Austin Powers came out that was the worst time of my childhood life in primary school molly, molly, molly. it's annoying it it's annoying. You can't really see this one. So if I live on my chin, you'll see this one. This one I don't really like so much because hair grow out of it. So I always have to pluck it like every couple weeks. <laughs> Listen, I'm, not, I'm just being honest. I know it's kind of too much information. But honesty is the best policy. Even though you can't see the others, I really have like three more on my face. Because I have a lot of beef spots all over my body. Some of them placed in the cutest places. Um, but I have one here, here, and here. And you can't see them because, um, uh, whatever. Anyways, I really do love my beauty spots. One last thing, and these are all physical things I like about myself. Um, of course, there are other things that are not physical that I really love about myself. Like my personality, I really do love my personality. Like, who don't love my personality, you know what I mean? I mean, sometimes I'm annoying. I get that, I get that, but... It's what makes me Alvina. Other thing that I've grown to love about myself is my natural hair. It is so versatile. You can do so much with it. I have not yet straightened my hair, but I know I can straighten it. But I'm like scared of heat damage. So I'm not ready yet until your homegirl can like do this. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah. Oh, okay, that made me a little bit dizzy. Please give me a moment. Oof, no shake your babies. Um, 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 no. That made me dumb. I was not natural my whole life. Um, obviously I transitioned and big chop like two years ago. Oh, that reminds me, I am two years natural today, honey. And I will be doing a update, a two years natural hair update. But yeah, I, I, I. Um, I don't think I was fully relaxed until I was about 15, 16, thereabout. All the other times I was texturized, but I was not like texturized bone straight. But you can see like a little bit of like texture in my hair. But it just looked like a cream that never take properly. Um, and before that, I always have my hair like pressed with the hot comb. Jesus. Wallip a bun. Wallip. A bun. Probably that is one of the reasons why I told my mom that, that why don't you don't put that thing in my hair where my hair don't revert after you press um after I wash it. Like I I'm I'm tired of the burns. I'm tired of sitting there between your laps next to the hot stove for over an hour and a half to two hours just to get my hair straight for a week until I wash it again. It not makes sense. I think just the fact that I've always seen like girls having straight hair, no natural hair really, is why I wanted my hair straight. I wanted my hair to be like everybody else. And I'm not that type of person. I'm not full of fashion, you know? I'm not full of fashion, so I don't know where that thing comes from. I, th I think it was probably the ease of doing my hair and having... I, I just think I enjoyed my hair being straight when I was younger. So, 
that's the end of my imperfections tag. Um, here's a screen that I'm going to put up of all the persons I tag to do this tag. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you did enjoy the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and why don't you guys also leave a comment down below sharing with three likes and three dislikes about yourself and I'll tell you that you're beautiful. Honestly it's nice to put it out there what you dislike because to be honest what you dislike about yourself might be someone's favorite feature about you. Everybody is unique in their own way and they're very beautiful in their own way. You're flawless. And only you can tell yourself that you're ugly. Because I got ugly days. I'll say I'm ugly. I got I got really bad ugly days. So it's, it is okay to call yourself ugly. But don't let somebody else do it. Okay? Anyways. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to stay tuned for my two year anniversary. And subscribe for my invisible updates coming in the near future. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.